If you find yourself on the map valley for Arena Breakout Infinite, well lucky enough I'm here to tell you all the best spots you should know, at least when it comes to the normal mode. And quickly, since we are pushing for 5,000 subscribers, why not hit that like and subscribe button as it greatly helps me out. It helps me by gaining a subscriber, and it helps you letting me know when I uploaded a new video. But anyways, let's dive straight in. So we find ourselves spawning on the shoreline of valley. From there, we're gonna run to Radar Station, and that's gonna be where your first big loot is. First and foremost, at the Radar Station, you'll be met with a couple scavs. From there, we're gonna be looting around. You'll find one med crate, a toolbox, sometimes you get some nice loot on the shelves. One weapon crate located here next to the bunker entrance. Another toolbox. And a searchable little bag. Now when it comes to the normal version of Valley, you're not going to find too much loot at the radar station, however it's a good place to keep in mind when you're looking for loot. Moving on ahead, our next place is going to be Frontier Positions. Now in between Radar Station and Frontier Positions at this point exactly, you'll be running into some stuff you can loot, a weapon case in particular, loot it, gives you whatever sometimes, and a lootable chest right here as well. A grenade case to be exact. But anyways, continuing to the frontier position, there's going to be a couple key places to keep in mind. The first one is going to be inside this room where you get a weapon case, an ammo crate, sometimes there's stuff on the desk, and continuing in front of this blue hut is going to be a medic crate, or a first aid kit, whatever you want to call it, you can search that. Then coming along here, you're going to have a weapon crate and a grenade case to loot. From the frontier positions, we're going to make our way all the way down to the beachhead positions. One of the first major beachhead positions to loot is this pillbox, bunker, dugout, whatever you want to call it. You're going to have a medium weapon case here. And you're going to have some other stuff here. Hey! Hey, I'm trying to give a tutorial. Leave me alone. Yeah, but if you do come to this place, do be warned, you'll definitely get shot at. The next area of our beachhead position is going to be located right here. Where you get a weapon case. Another weapon case. An elite crate. And then a box of nades. And there's usually something on those barrels. And one more case is going to be right here next to this generator. From there, without trying to die, we're going to be making our way to the harbor, or docks, whatever you want to call it, port. Located at the port, there's tons of loot spots to check from. Besides going from the main entrance to the northeast, I highly recommend to come around the back. We're first going to be finding ourselves running towards the end of the dock. We're here, we'll have a weapon crate, and a large weapon case, then a gym bag and a suitcase. So as we go, we have a briefcase, a toolbox, another toolbox. Coming down here, sometimes there's some lootables, a suitcase, and a gym bag, and another gym bag. They have a chance to spawn keys or different types of items. Now this building at the port, small house, gonna have a filing cabinet to search, Stuff on the desk sometimes, and a briefcase. And this is the staff dormitory key that you need. From that building, we're gonna head to the main building. When you first come into the port building, come to this corner where the red light is, and search just chemical jackets. Sometimes you can get a key card, sometimes you don't. But it's all depending on your luck. From there, we're gonna have a large weapon case you can search from. And a man hiding. From there, we're going to come up the stairs for where we sadly had to put down a man as he was interrupting my tutorial. As you can see, you're met with a grenade case and a small weapon crate. And another man. That's not dead. Mine! Well, after that is finished, we're going to come outside, loop around to here. From there, you're going to come into this room. There's a weapon crate. Jacket, you can search. 
Sometimes stuff on the counter and a gym bag. And another two blocks there. And that's pretty much it for the port. Nothing really too valuable except for the second floor. From there, we're going to try to make our way from the shoreline of port to approximately over here. Now, another area to keep in mind is below the bunker, so to the southeast. It's going to be this little area. We're going to have a weapon crate. And that's really it when it comes to this little small area. It's only a weapon case. But, but anyways, we're going to keep moving along. And here, this rock is going to be a box of grenades. It's moving on to the supply camp. Now, there's usually an SKS of Mosin scab up there that you can kill. And we'll get a Mosin or an SKS, which is always nice. But anyways, moving on to the supply camp. There's not going to be anything here at the first area. But, move to the second place. You're going to have a weapon case. That's pretty much it for this layer area. Over here, it's going to be a box of grenades. Then, over here is going to be your ammo crates. That you can search however you like. Get your little webbed fingers on. From the supply camp, you can move to the small factory. Where not only is there a lot of PvP that constantly happens, but there's fairly decent loot. And there's going to be a crate that you can loot inside. Then moving up to the small factory. Gonna have to take out a scav or two. But this is an open little door. Come in here. You have a first aid and a jacket to search from. From here, you're back outside. Please, sirs, I'm just trying to give an explanation. But anyways, from there, enter this small, I guess, changing room, lockers, first aid bag, then a way down. So you come down the stairs to this room where you're going to have a toolbox, a scav that I didn't kill, I promise, a toolbox, and then some more stuff. Leave me alone, I'm trying to give a tutorial, man. After you looted all the goodies, but after you looted all the goodies from the storage room and the plant room, which has stuff on the ground and the a oh, ton of stuff that's scattered around in general. So at the bottom of the factory, you're gonna have a lab that has, well, as you expect, a lot of medical supplies. From there, you can continue. Just stuff that sometimes spawns in the open crates. I have another room to open and check, which is gonna be another storage room with two tool boxes. Now this is another storage room slash place that has some pretty good loot. You have a med pack. Sometimes high tier loot spawns on those chairs. And you have a searchable PC. But anyways, continuing on this valley trend, we find yourself at Crash Canyon. Now, you're going to have a high tier helicopter crash, a little airdrop, and sometimes there's some other loot scattered all throughout these houses. But mainly, you're just here for the huge helicopter crate and the crate on this wagon. Now, we are going to follow the path all the way up to the helicopter crash. At the helicopter crash, you're going to be made with a box of grenades. Then still continuing the path, you're going to have another helicopter crate. At the helicopter crate, sometimes you get something that spawns on the tire and sometimes you get something that spawns in here. Just like the helicopter crash on farm. Up to this little lookout area. Sometimes again you get stuff that spawns on these boxes. But you have a weapon case that is static spawn. From there you have a house that will have a jacket and another box. From there we're going to move on to the radio station. Now the radio station often spawns some pretty decent loot. In normals it's not as good as forbidden in the dark zone. Sometimes there's scavs, sometimes there's not. Directly there we see a toolbox, a crate you can search, jackets, a door you can open, the weapon case. I hear so. 
with two more jackets. Now that's pretty much it when it comes to what you should be looking out for when looting Valley. Now there's two spots I didn't mention, both the beach villa and the courtyard. Those are typically going to be highly contested with a lot of players and scavs. Now a beach villa, there's sometimes spawns a boss, but a lot of the time there's also a ton of locked rooms that you need keys for and just general loot scattered around. Now again, if you like this type of content and want to see more, do leave a sub and a like as it greatly helps me out.